have to raise the cute factor because we're not really much doing it, right? That's we bring true. in the cute kids. This is Nicole Fast. And so Nicole is going to help us out a little bit. How old are you, Nicole? Six. And what grade are you in? First. See, you've got the world wrapped there you around are. your finger when you're six years old That's and true. in the first grade. All right, would you tell Mr. Kobrick kind of what you were thinking about? So show him the pen and then ask him the question that you were thinking. What color is this? I would say black. Nope. That's wrong, Mr. Kobrick. <laughs> do you have a feeling that you're set up for these kinds of do you, things? Do you meet the other Spangler boys? Do you spend a lot of time with them? Kinda, yes, well, I thought yeah, as much. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe cousin, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Uh, what color is this, Nicole? Well, well, there's colors hidden inside. Yeah. There's lots of different colors, aren't there? Mm -hmm. So even though it looks like a black pen, believe it or not, if we take all of our crayons and we mix them together, what color do we get? Black. We get black. So uh. let's show everybody at home what they're going to need. First of all, you're going to need to have a vis-a-vis -vis pen or a water-soluble pen. So sometimes Crayola ones will work well. Okay. This is a flare pen, so but it has to be water-soluble. Okay. okay? Right. And then we're going to need some filter paper. So that's what these are here, right here. So this is just filter paper. You could use coffee filter, but if you've got a science teacher in your life, or you can find when the filter paper is going to work a little get bit better. filter paper. And that'll be yours. Oh, and so you. here's right. what you're going to do is you're going to take the pen and you're going to draw some dots on the filter paper. So we'll show everybody kind of what this looks like. We're just putting some dots right here like this. Ready? And Nicole, you can kind of work on yours right there so you have a little bit more on yours as well. So some pretty heavy dots. It looks like it's black, but if you take all the colors and you combine them together, you get black. So we're going to use a technique called chromatography to get it apart. Chromatography. Okay? Chromatography. Say right. that at the next little party you're invited to, all right? <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the pipe cleaner like this and we dip the pipe cleaner down inside. What do they call them now? They're not called pipe cleaners. They're called oh, they're not? Chanel. So I don't Are know. Are they really? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know. I, when I was in teaching school it was called pipe cleaner and uh, then you push right. it through like this and now you put it inside and you allow the water to start to wick its oh, it way wicks up. out onto the filter is that paper? fun yeah. so it's going to start to wick itself out and i want to show you what it looks like when it's all done so when it's all done would you look oh, at that oh look at that so that's actually the black pen is that from four black dots yes yeah, from four oh, black four. Dots. so what colors are in there nicole yellow um pink yeah. blue all those oh, yeah. and what was How the secret that? what what was it water yep and what do those water molecules do um, they make them all run away from each other. That's a great way to explain uh, it. I couldn't think are. of a better way. Excellent. So it's water soluble. There's a story that kids are reading um, in kind of first grade called Purple, Green, and Yellow by Robert Munch. And it's a little girl who draws on herself, so I know that's really good for kids at home to hear. And uh, But it washes off until she gets to the Sharpie pen. That doesn't wash off uh. anymore. The super indelible never come off till you're dead, maybe longer coloring marker. All right? Okay. So this is what's happening here. All We're right. going to speed this up a little bit and do spin art. So right. show everybody what we found at the store. What is that? A fan. That's a fan. So it's one of those little fans that has the rubber blades on right. it. Right, okay. So here's what I did is I took uh, just a, a, a top from a container, a plastic container, and I put it here. So here's what's going to happen. This is the best part. Okay. You just put this on top like okay. this. Got it? And Nicole, right. you can use yours right here. Okay. So this right. one's going to be okay. yours. Yeah. Got it? And now um, you can do this. So you turn it on. So you ready? We open up okay. your pen, Nicole. Here you go, let's turn that on, and we're gonna throw it in like this, all right? So we'll put it on, and let's do this, so that people at home can see. We're gonna kinda spin it like this, so we get oh, some color that. that's oh, here. Cool. Okay, so that's good, so that's our black. All and right. then we get our eyedropper, Nicole, and let's try this. So our little one that's here, we're gonna use this one. So now watch what happens on the camera. So you can see right there, I'm gonna put it right in the very middle here, so when you start to spin like this, watch this. As you start to spin, oh, you get this beautiful this. little spin oh, art. Oh, isn't that and now a when cool you're done, deal? Not only did you get to throw ink all over the place, but you get this beautiful Look spin art. Is that fun? Look at the color. How good is that? And show them that? all. We've got all these different examples that are here of all the different kinds of spin art.